Hey hackers, welcome back. We're getting closer to unveiling the biggest secret of all. In a previous video, we covered secret number one. It was the ethical way to steal over $10,000 worth of live event and radio programming knowledge and build crates that crush any dance floor. There's a link to that video in the comments. And today is a super effective one. How to clone my proven crate building technique and organize your music in less than 10 minutes. So let's begin, shall we? Let's start hacking. We're on to secret number two, how to clone my proven crate building technique and organize your music in less than 10 minutes. Now, if you've been along the journey with me so far, you've realized what I've had to do in my professional career. As both a radio host, radio programmer, wedding DJ, and club DJ for the past 25 years, this is all I did. In fact, this was usually my Thursday nights. The Thursday before the Friday and Saturday double-decker gigs, right? I had to compare the charts and the lists, those lists being the song requests or the tracks to play at the wedding reception. Then it was the manually dragging and dropping the MP3s to the folders. Drag and drop, drag and drop. Take your mouse and drag it from one to the next. You'd be lucky if you could select all and drag and drop. And then it was the migration from your folders to your software. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat once, if not twice, if not more, per week. If you're a professional gigging DJ, this is your normal workflow. This is what we used to have to do. So check this out. We had the list, right? The list of uh, Becky's birthday party. It would be song requests. Sometimes they'd even write it on physical paper. Then you'd have to search for it in your DJ software, the artist and title. Then you'd have to drag it into a crate, right? One by one, it's like sometimes they give you like a sheet of paper and your songs are here. Then you have to get your laptop and your mouse. So you've got these two things going on at once that is cumbersome and takes a bit of time. Oh, then you've got the issue of maybe not having the song. Okay, so then you take that list. You got to go to whatever record pool or source that you go to get your music. Search it there, download it into another folder. Then it has to drag and drop over to your DJ software. So that's another process, which ultimately puts you in tab overload. That was one of my biggest anxiety triggers. Tab overload, you've got a hundred different tabs and your RAM is barely keeping up. This is what we used to do. Now there is the new way, the crate hacker way. DJs who've helped put together a piece of software that organizes crates in minutes for practically any genre. Here, if I were to lay it out for you on a piece of paper, this is the way it would look. Remember Becky's birthday party list? It's over there on the left side of the screen. The same could be said for Becky's list being either a Spotify list, perhaps, or a Shazam, something maybe you Shazammed when you were out and about. So no matter what, you're gathering your tracks you picked up along the way, right? If I were to suggest running these through the software first, then it's going to spit out into your DJ software far faster than the old drag and drop method. So you got Becky's song list, run it through the Cray Hacker's desktop app, it spits out into Virtual DJ, Rekordbox, Tractor, Serato. There are ways to get it into Denon as well. But look at the bottom of the screen. Now, this is where I believe the future may be going. Anytime we publish a crate, it's gonna be over there on Spotify as it will be on SoundCloud and BeatSource and whatever future tech is coming. So you got Becky's birthday party list, which can also be something like a CSV or an Excel spreadsheet. That could be exported into a crate. We talked about the Spotify list. It seems like a lot more brides and grooms are sending their personal Spotify lists to the DJs. Again, rather than dragging and dropping, it exports into the Crate Hackers app. I love this one. Admit it, you're all guilty. <laughs> what if I told you that all the music you've ever Shazammed can be exported into the Crate Hackers app and delivered into your performance software immediately. These are all ideas that people brought to the table and we figured out a way to hack it. Going back to the tried and true folder flattener theory. Have you heard about the folder flattener theory? I get on soapboxes about this quite a bit. This is something I've discussed in a previous episode and something I really want you to follow. Taking all your MP3s and dragging them into one folder versus numerous folders, it cuts down on your computer resources, your file indexing, you remember where it is faster. Listen, this is cumbersome. This took me, personally, 
about three weeks to get it done myself because you got to remember I was running all my music through certain folders and there was a point where I had iTunes run my music and man, you know what it does to your folders there. I had over 650,000 folders at one point on my C drive, all with music scattered throughout it. So we decided to create what was known as the folder flattener and the folder flattener finds all the music scattered throughout your collection and then makes a backup of all of it so you can start fresh. That's so key. Having a backup with three clicks, it's pretty amazing. I want to introduce to you Tyler Wallace, who assists with our help desk, our private group, and is also very much key when it comes to the development of the Create Hackers desktop app and platform. Tyler, take it away. What's up, everybody? Tyler here with Create Hackers, here to show you some amazing features and benefits you'll get as being a member of Create Hackers. Let's dive in. The first thing you'll see when you log into our website is our latest crates and latest hackathons, as well as the categories that we have available for you for all of our crates. Let's head into the crate section and see what it's all about. You'll see that all of our crates are listed newest to oldest, and there's several hundred to choose from. Let's open one up. You'll see that each of these crates comes in mixable order by BPM and key. And you'll also see that we show the songs key, BPM, energy, danceability, and mood. One thing that we try to keep consistent throughout all of the crates is having a 60% or higher popularity score for each of the songs. This helps make sure that you're getting the best quality crate to ensure that your dance floor loves each song. Now let's take a look at one of the most popular features we have here at Crate Hackers, our desktop app. The first thing you're going to do when you open the desktop app is going to be to scan your local music files in. To do that, you're going to click on the add button, select your music folder, and you'll see that they all import pretty quickly. I just imported 12,237 songs. Now let's take a look at that Rap Dance Party 28 crate that we were in earlier. You'll see all the songs that were on the original homepage on the website are also here in the app, in the same order, ready to mix. Now the great thing about the app is it allows you to quickly export this to your DJ software of choice. You simply go through and make sure that all the songs that you want are selected, and then you click either Download M3U, Export to Virtual DJ, or Export to Serato. Let's export it to Virtual DJ since that's my software of choice. I'm just going to click on Export to Virtual DJ. It's going to tell me that it's been downloaded to Virtual DJ and open my playlists. Let's go into Virtual DJ and see where it is. I'm going to open up my playlists. We'll see Rap Dance Party 28 is right here, ready to go, ready to mix. Serato users that don't use an external hard drive can use the Export to Serato feature here. For Serato users that do use external hard drives, you'd have to use the Download M3U, save it into a folder, and then simply drag it into Serato Live. This Download to M3U feature is also for Tractor and record box users. You would, under File and Playlist, simply import that file directly into your program. The folder flattener lets you quickly take a number of folders and dump them down into one. This is one of the problems that Aaron had in Vegas that caused him to mess up his entire set. Now we automate it for you. The Spotify importer lets you quickly take any link to a Spotify playlist and import it directly into the app and then track match it to songs you have on your hard drive. Joe Bunn has a video on this coming up in a little bit. Our Shazam to Crate feature is perfect if you're in a bar, nightclub, or in another party, and you're Shazamming songs and you want to quickly pull those into your collection. What it'll do is track match the songs already on your hard drive, similar to the way our Spotify importer works, and allows you to quickly export it as a crate. The last of the apps we have to go over is our text importer. This one happens to be my personal favorite. This gives you the option to do a number of different things very quickly. You can import a CSV file directly from your CRM software of choice, whether it be DJ Event Planner, Q, Simple Systems, DJ Intelligence, or any of them. And then my personal favorite is the paste data option. In here, you just paste the title and artist, generate crate, and it's going to track match the songs you already have on your hard drive. This alone has saved me hundreds of hours of planning and music curation for each of my events. That's going to do it for me. Once again, I'm Tyler. I'm with Crate Hackers. Now I'm going to turn it back over to Aaron to handle the rest. If you were to ask me personally, there'd be two essentials to mixing music, DJ software and Crate Hackers. Truthfully, even if I was not the co-founder, I would still find this software so valuable because of just the time-saving factor alone. If I knew I could get back a few hours a week of prep, all while still being uniquely me, let's go, <laughs> right? And again, just as a recap, Tyler and I showed you how to clone my proven crate-building technique and organize your music in 10 minutes or less, and they're ready to mix inside your DJ software. Tomorrow's the big one, how to stay up on top of all the new music automatically while not sounding like a jukebox or any other DJ. That is so key and a common misperception with new DJ technology. I'd like to point out that people tend to fear technology when they don't understand what the technology can do for them. Don't get too overwhelmed with all of this artificial intelligence 
and networking advancements. It's here to stay, and it's our job to stay up on top of it for you. So please join us. Let's keep hacking. I hope you find our next episode worthwhile. It'll be an interesting one because I may have to continue to recut it because of the constant evolution. But nonetheless, thanks for being here. I'm Aaron Trailer. Happy hacking. I'm Aaron Trailer. And if you're a YouTube subscriber, please hit the smash like whatever button. We're still new to this whole thing here. I'm guessing I just need more subscribers just so we can pass along more information to you. So if you loved it, if you're a nerd like me, you like talking music, you love hacks. Hey, I'm good for things like that for sure. So yeah, click subscribe. I'm Aaron Trailer, and happy hacking.